Megan Hicks of I Run Far. I'm with Archer Joya Bouillon. It's a couple days before the 2023 UTMB. That was a very French name. It's nice to meet you, Archer. <laughs> nice to meet you too. <laughs> this is I Run Far's first interview with you. So I'd love to begin by learning about you as an athlete and a person outside of running. So yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm Arthur Joyeux Bouillon. Uh, I live in uh, Savoie, near of the Col du Petit Saint Bernard, uh, on the path of uh, the TDS, so in high li altitude at uh, 1,800 meters. So during winter, uh, I uh, practice uh, ski mountain wing. So I love to run uh, and uh, do a sport uh, during winter and uh, cold, uh, cold weather like uh, this. Uh, Today is good. Yeah, day, perfect. Yeah. And uh, during um, uh, summer and uh, all uh, other season, I'm a pro trial runner and um, I like to, to, to do uh, ultra trial. So now uh, I'm uh, on uh, on team. Uh, since uh, one year and uh, I'm uh, so happy to, to do uh, again at NMB. Awesome. Um, you have been running Ultra Trail for quite some time. You have many r race results to your name like all over Europe and even further racing. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I did uh, some Ultra Trail, no? Uh, but uh, on uh, UTMB I, uh, I did a CCC. I finished nine. Uh, in 2018, uh, I did uh, two time uh, TDS, but the first time I uh, didn't uh, finish. Okay. Uh, but second time I finished uh, three. And uh, for my first UTMB uh, last year, I finished seven. So, so happy to, to come back again and try um, my best. Whenever somebody finishes that well at UTMB, seventh place is a, you know, many people would call that a career high. Mm. To come back again, you must be wanting more than that, to do more than that. Yeah, yeah it's true. I, I, I want to, to do better, uh, but uh, I, uh, I, I did uh, my best for the preparation. So... Um, I, I see the, the race uh, about the, in French, cerise sur le gâteau is uh, the, um, how do you say in English, uh, maybe uh, cherry on the cake, ah, okay. you know? I heard cake. Exactly. <laughs> That's <laughs> but a word I know. When, when you tra train hard and uh, you, you do your best uh, on uh, each training, uh, you just uh, have to run during a race and uh, do uh, what you you can do and uh, after it's a uh, full pleasure and uh, f this year is uh, exactly the same I uh, pushed uh, uh, more on the training I, uh, I learned about me mm. uh, more so this year I think I can uh, do better and uh, we will see and we will see. What is it like to, because you live not far from here, um, and this is your playground for winter and summertime, what's it like to see 10,000 runners and people like me from around the world descend upon your region every year? Like, what, is it, what does that mean to you? It's, it's a real pleasure because uh, I, when you said I, I see uh, during all uh, the year and uh, each day this kind of playground and uh, I have the chance to to do my training and my life uh, on this place not here but uh, just uh, at uh, 40 kilometer and uh, it's a real pleasure to 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 see uh, the world and interior world uh, come here yeah. and uh, you you can see on the eyes of people uh, it's just uh, beautiful and uh, our sport is to run on the mountain so you need to 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 see the a, a nice playground a nice landscape and i think uh, chamonix is uh, the perfect uh, place mm. uh, for running and ultra trail you come from uh over like on the far 
I don't know, we call it the most remote side of the course, like the, yeah, Bourg St. Maurice, mm -hmm. Le Chapieu. Mm -hmm. um, that's a wild area over yes. there. Can you explain for people who aren't familiar with it what the remote part of the Alps is like? Because everybody kind of knows Chamonix okay. and the busyness, but can you explain what it's like when you get really out yes, there? Yes. Yes, uh, where where I live, uh, just uh, near of Bourg Saint Maurice, when you said, it's uh, a wild uh, country and a wild area, and uh, it's not exactly the same uh, at Chamonix. Uh, less people, uh, less uh, uh, not the Mont Blanc, just uh, near of uh, my home, but some summit at uh, three thousand meter. And uh, yeah, it's for me it's a perfect place because I can uh, go outside during uh, maybe six, seven hour and uh, and so uh, nothing, just animals, just uh, me, my dog, and uh, uh, mountain animals. Uh, so f for all sports, it's just perfect. You can you can. Uh, Oh, I don't know when you said in English, but uh, uh, penser à soi, think about uh, you. Yeah, think about yourself. And it's perfect. Yeah. And on the path of the TDS, you mm -hmm. can think about you during a <laughs> lot of time. You have a lot of time to think yes. about yourself. Last question for you. If you have the perfect race on Friday and Saturday, you know, 100 miles, something will go wrong. But as close as you can get to perfect, what does that look like for you? It's it's always difficult uh, to to reply with uh, this question because um, the path of UTMB is not the same each year. Um, this year uh, there is two uh, two for sure um, moments where the path uh, ta take uh, another road. A place. Yes, yeah. there is a, a climb uh, or a rock. Um, uh, Eboulement, uh, I think a yeah, yeah, a rock fall yeah. on uh, Trian, mm -hmm. and um, uh, at the end we we don't uh, go to the Tête au Vent. So on a perfect race this year, if I di if I di if I do less than 21 hour, it happy. it will be so perfect, <laughs> and it's my goal. Okay. So we'll you we'll see. Best of luck to you Thank on another you. loop around Mont Blanc yes. and good luck for that 21 hour finish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We will see you at uh, the finish line. Yeah, yeah.